Wait again, hold it for me now. It's a video, isn't it? <laughs> What are you doing, Gavin? A little portrait. A little portrait action? Very focused. I know. Alright, let's see it. Wow. <laughs> Look at his knees. <laughs> Look at his knees. Oh. Oh, oh I, I was, wait, <laughs> wait a second, I was drawing Gannon. <laughs> drawing me, yeah, drawing the, me Gannon? On the other side. The double, the double album that you want. Are you done Gannon? Let's see it. Look how good you, look how good Gavin's is. McDonald's. You're not like a drawing, like right there. Um, say my quads are popping and picture me doing this. My arm. <laughs> <laughs> it was so long. <laughs> it's a portrait well, of me that Gavin Babcock drew. It says my quads are popping, and it's a picture of me with my massive quads and my noodle arms. There it is. That does look like you. Yeah, I know. This one is for Will Shoestrick. Oh! oh. This one is Sorry, for Will Shoestrick. Over the top. It's a flag. This one is for Will Shoestrick. 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 <sighs> this one's for Will Shoestrick. This one is for Will Shoestrick. This one is for Will Shoestrick. I didn't write any of this. <laughs> what is your project about Gannon? Um, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now we are good to turn this in. Give me video? Yeah. Okay, yeah. What's up, boys? We're at day law. We're late. Here we go. Day three. So oh, are you kidding me? You get all my foul cords if you make this. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> Found ourselves here after a drive. And a nice easy putt. Oh! Wait, wait a second. What? What? What is that? Elve back. El Gannon, bro. Here we go. Gannon's first throw off the uh, top of the world. Ever. Ever. That was, that was this boy. Parking and lot! It, and it really shows. Thank <laughs> you.
with my my M model Emmy <laughs> mini <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for Will Schuster. <laughs> this is for Will Schuster. Oh, he's aced it. This one is for Dudley <laughs> William Schuster. Great mark. It's to be a, a hurricane. Definitely watch out for the wind in the No way. Birdie. Supply, birdie disc off. Good man, yeah. Yeah. Well, how? So after your first big win on the Pro Tour in Vegas, um, how does it feel to take down a Silver Series to kind of back it up with this year? It feels great, man. You just you got to start somewhere, and getting that win in Vegas really helped my momentum. You know, stay boosted. But I was able to pick this one up at uh, you know at Santa Cruz Masters Cup, and it just gonna keep the moment, momentum rolling. Uh, yeah. Old Harris here. We noticed you missed a few circle two putts during the final round. But buddy, you're usually good from 50. What was going on there? You know, I just the win, man. You know, it was in the it was in the whole way. It was like in 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 drop, and you know they just they just fell out of the basket, man. I thought I had it the whole time. Yeah, speaking of uh, thought you fell out of the basket, Gavin Babcock here again. My bad. Um, you got pretty lucky on hole eight, arguably a two-stroke swing with that tree kick. How do you deal with so many lucky breaks during your rounds? You know, I just gotta let them let them happen, man. You know, it's not, they're gonna happen to everybody, and sometimes you know they, they happen to you. So, you know, to control that and you know take advantage of those moments is huge. Alden Harris here again. Uh, you had an interesting play on hole three, shanking it out wide left straight into the bunker. Was that to secure the par look, or what was that? You know, I think the mental game is huge here, um, especially playing like a player against James. You know, he's he's been in these situations before, and to give him you know just one stroke to make him think he's gonna win. Is huge because that way I can come back the next couple holes. You know, I ended up burning five in a row after that on purpose, obviously. Um, you know, I was able to just give him some fear. Yeah, speaking of fear, um, we. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that uh, little uh, technical difficulties, but speaking of fear, we know you get injured uh, doing easel, easily, you know, day to day activities. Do you consider, or did you ever consider DNFing after your slip that resulted in an uncalled footfall? You know, I'm not one who cheats, and you know, cheating by accident there was, it broke my heart. You know, I, I knew that was what gave me the win, and uh, ended up tearing my ACL in both my knees, and it just kind of ended me. But you know, I fought through the pain, fought through the cheating, and then was able to, you know, come back from that. Yeah, speaking of cheating, uh, we noticed you had a super weird follow through on hole seven. What was that? Yeah, you know. So I actually attached a string from the basket to my hand, and I was trying to take the string away as fast as possible so no one would see it. So that's why that's why that happened. Okay, okay. Well, um, we're just kind of working the course here backwards. We heard you talking about how your drive on hole four was pin high, but watching the video, it seemed like you were well short, probably 50, 60 feet at least short of pin high. Is this a fish keeps getting bigger story, or what do we have kind of going on here? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, to be honest, it depends on how you look at it. You know, life is all about perspective. So from my perspective, you know, if you put the tee pad like 50 feet further left and closer, I was behind. So, you know, just how your perspective is. Yep. Yeah, interesting. Speaking of perspective, uh, we noticed you tapped in your final putt with the distortion. Were you worried about going long at all with that putt? Yeah, I know, I know that disc has a lot of glide to it. I know it doesn't like to sit down, you know, has... It likes to slide forward, so I use it for those approaches. I need to slide, you know, just a little, a little further than I want to. And, um, you know, I definitely, that was in my head for sure, um, you know. But uh, I just jammed it right in the heart of the basket. It was a lucky catch, but man, what a day.
Yeah, Gavin Babcock here. Hopefully those lucky breaks keep uh, keep heading in the right direction throughout the year and and those 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 fish stories with the right perspectives just, just keep heading in, in your favor. So thanks again, Gannon. And uh, yeah, yeah, Alden Harris here. Uh, yeah, congratulations <laughs> again on the win. Um, hopefully you just keep getting lucky like you like you did at Santa Cruz. Maybe get a couple lucky wins again. Yeah, uh, again over here. Um, thank you guys. I just want to thank you guys one more time. <laughs> oh no! Did they care? I don't think.